morning guys um well i got a new product that has been very buzzed about lately and i think you can guess what it is i got the fenty beauty pro filter foundation um i'm excited to try this however the people at sephora hurt my soul because i'm only a 120. i'm so pale you guys i feel like that's a serious issue Okay, so people have said that this is really good for oily skin, which is perfect for me because, well, I definitely have oily skin. <laughs> so hopefully this should be exactly what I need. Let me get my little mirrors all set up and we can go ahead and put it on. I already did my eyes today. This is my first time digging into my modern renaissance and I know I'm so behind you guys. But I accidentally got a hold of a dupe and that's what I was using and I didn't, I didn't know it and I just kept using it and oh my god the dupe had nothing, nothing on the real thing. Like, this is incredible. I'm blown away. So, <clears throat> before I put on this foundation, I'm going to need y'all to hit that subscribe button. It should be right below me and right beside me. And if you want to see when I post, uh, go ahead and hit that little bell too. You'll get notifications every time I post, which is usually Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So far, I've been doing really good to keep up with that schedule. And on with the video. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's a pretty good size. I'm sure y'all have already seen, but you get... 1.08 ounces and on the back here it says shake well so that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna be using this bare minerals brush that I've been using with my Kat Von D lately because I feel like it should be able to perform the same way <clears throat> okay so I think we've sh shaken it up enough I have already got primer on so that should be covered and let's go and see how well this works and i've heard that it like dries super fast and i have to say i think i already agree with that because i literally just got this little squirt out and it's already like already done and I can tell that I'm going to go through a whole lot more foundation than I usually do. <clears throat> it's also a lot more <laughs> watery than what I'm used to. Um, using the Kat Von D, it's super thick. So it goes on a lot different than this is going on right now. And after I put this on, on camera, I also want to go ahead and put my powders on top of it just to see how they lay down. And y'all, I think they matched me too light. Let's be realistic. I know my neck is really light, but my face really, really is darker. And I'm going to have to do some serious contouring to revive this makeup I think and I noticed God love the girls there I know they're just doing what they're taught to do but they were having all kinds of trouble color matching everybody who was there nobody could agree on their colors and me being me I went in with a full face of makeup so they couldn't really color match me the way they needed to anyway. So that's mostly on me. But I think I may have to go trade them. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what do you think. Is this the right color for me? Or do I need to go eensy bit darker? So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to go in with my shape tape in light and neutral. My shape tape is even darker than this. That's, that's crazy. 
But I'm gonna go in under here and try to get as close as I can without killing my lower lash line. And I think that's all I need to cover up. It's just, there's just something about the way I put on my contour and highlight and it makes me feel powerful. I don't know, I guess because it looks like war paint. I'm pretty sure that foundation actually smeared my eyebrow a little bit. <laughs> That's always fun. And this is definitely, I can tell that this is just medium coverage. Which, I mean, that's okay for the majority of my face. And I can touch up these gorgeous circles that are now almost completely gone. And my little breakouts. If y'all can see my little monsters still, they just won't go away. I don't, I don't know what I did. I haven't really been that stressed out lately. They just, they just showed up out of nowhere and said, hey. We're here for about a week or two probably and that's all I can do about it <clears throat> before I put on this contour. If y'all didn't know, I'm a crazy cat lady. It's in my description. And I also require coffee to function. I normally don't film for y'all on weekdays so I can just go lay back down. <laughs> but today I have to go to work. So I'm just going to pick up some light contour out of the Lorac Contour Palette. And I'm going to try to contour up a teeny bit higher. Because I think I figured out that part of the reason I can't get my face to look the way I want it. Is because I always contour down so low. So we're going to try a little higher today and see what happens. Uh. Trying to get this even is always the hardest part though because I'm really terrible at that. Just not my strong suit, I guess. Okay, and I'm about to go in, blend this in with a little bit of bronzer and blush in a minute. But first I want to see if I can pick up some of this yellow highlight and kind of lay it down. I've never been able to make this kind of highlight really work, the powder kind. But I've always wanted to try and see if it will. And I think that's going to help these dark circles a little bit more if I can get this to work. That actually works pretty beautifully. I'm kind of impressed. I had never thought to try this with a beauty blender, but I like it. Okay. Um, I guess all I'm going to do to get that off is just wipe off the extra. That works. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to go blend this all in with some bronzer and some blush, and I'll be right back. Guys, so uh, I'm almost done. I did my lips, and I went ahead and bronzed and put on a little bit of blush. So all I've got left to do now is highlight. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush to highlight with, with the Moonchild kit. And I do think I'm going to go ahead and get a dupe video for it up for y'all too soon. Um, there is a dupe from one of the same brands on the Hush app that is so, so similar. Um, it's 
since I've got on a blue dress today, I'm going to go with blue eyes up here. It's a really pale blue kind of undertone to the highlight as opposed to blue moon that's like super blue. And you can definitely tell. And that highlight is just all the ones in this kit. I almost didn't get it when I first got into highlights because you know some of these colors are a little crazy and I work in an office so can't really do too many crazy colors too terribly often just on the weekend but I'm really glad I did because I mean even like Lucky Clover that has the green undertone it's still not I mean I can wear it and nobody's gonna notice unless the light hits it just right and it's still so pretty I'm trying to get this a little higher up on the cheekbone and then just sweep it through here is what I do with my highlight personally. And it's just like I don't, in my viewfinder, this looks incredible. I don't know how it looks to y'all, but it looks good to me. So, And then we're just going to take a little bit down the nose. I'm not really sure why this is a thing, but I like it. And then a little bit on the cupid's bow and that should complete the look <clears throat> now since this is a review on the foundation i will say first off it is a little yellow i didn't blend it quite as far down as i needed to and it may partially be on me for putting that yellow highlight on top of it but if you can see like from my face to my neck it is kind of a yellow tone however i will say that they probably are right and i'm probably 120 <sighs> And I'm just really that pale but you can kind of see it on both sides which is why I have my hair down today to cover that up I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can kind of see how the coverage looks um, I mean it's it's a pretty good medium coverage like you can see right here it doesn't quite cover up everything but it's definitely a nice matte finish by the way, my eyes are so pretty and I'm so happy. Anyways, back to the foundation. But it's definitely a good coverage. And I am excited to see how it wears throughout the day. And I'm going to record a quick check-in when I get off of work. I worked out this morning, so I won't be sweating or anything too much. So you can see how this holds up to just your average you know, day at the office. Not really doing a whole lot. So I'll see y'all when I get off work and we'll see how we feel whenever it's been a whole day. Okay Just guys, so check in number one. I am on my lunch break. Um, I've had this on about four or five hours. As soon as I got to work, one of my coworkers actually complimented me on the coverage, asked me what foundation I had on and is basically talked into buying it now. So that's always a good sign. I haven't really seen any breakdown or any issues. You can see my little monster above my lip, but since this is medium coverage and I didn't build it up, that's normal, so that's fine. Um, just wanted to give y'all a quick look during the day, and then once I've had it on about nine or 10 hours after work, I'm gonna come back and show you how it looks at the end of the day, but so far this is holding up really well and my eyeshadow is still amazing and looks great so i'll see y'all in a few hey you guys so this is going to be the final check-in for today i'm off work at home and lazy i've been on this makeup or in this makeup going on about 10 12 hours now and uh still looks pretty good there's a little bit of oil through here um, it's really hot here. I live in Arkansas if you haven't figured that out yet and it's like up to 90 degrees today. My only complaint is like right here didn't stay covered but I did kind of like accidentally pick at it some. My nose is a little red but other than that we're still looking pretty smooth. By the way my eyeshadow is still the bomb. Y'all I'm just amazed at how awesome modern renaissance is. And I wish I would have gotten the real one a whole lot sooner because this is the best eyeshadow I think I've ever tried. But <clears throat> I would have to say this probably is going to be my new go-to foundation. It's 
really reasonably priced. It's only $34, which isn't any worse than any other higher-end foundation. So I will definitely be a regular user, I do believe. I uh, may need to get a shade lighter, which hurts my self-esteem because I thought I had just a tiny bit more complexion than this, but 120 is a tiny bit too dark for me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is definitely a good product. I hope y'all enjoyed my review. I know this is a little late and you've seen a thousand videos already, but I just wanted to throw my two cents in because I do know that I'm like a paler color than some of the people I've seen review it. And to me, it's always important to see how it covers on a variety of skin tones. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in a couple of days. Bye guys.